My husband moved his 19-year-old girlfriend in my home, has sex with her in the in the bedroom, and I'm here today. It's gonna stop. Yes, I live with my boyfriend and his wife, but today we're kicking her ass out of this house. Hello, welcome to the show. My guests today say homewreckers are destroying their lives and they're ready to face off in heartless affairs. Please meet Lisa. She says that since her husband moved his teenage mistress into their home, her marriage has fallen apart. Lisa, what is going on? Well, Jerry, I have this 19-year-old bitch living in my home under my roof, sleeping with my husband while I'm in the other room with my daughter. And I'm here today to tell her she's not gonna she's not gonna ruin my life. She's not gonna take my husband, and I'm gonna kick some ass. Why have you waited for our show to do that? I mean, what? <laughs> I, I mean, why did you permit? Why did you permit this woman to move into the house anyway? Because I love him, and I'm you know I'm willing to do anything I can to keep him there but, so I can keep my marriage. But you don't have a marriage. If your husband, if your husband comes to you and says, honey, he probably didn't even call you honey. He said, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bringing this other woman that I'm sleeping with into the house. Wouldn't your reaction be, you ever talk to her again, you're out of here? Yeah. Yeah, but I have a 14 month old daughter that I have to think about too and she deserves to have her mommy and daddy around. Not with a mistress. You think? Well, okay. So you, uh, so you permitted this. Now, when did they, were they sleeping together at the time that he says, I want to bring her in? No. So, so why, what, what did he say to you when he says, hey, I want to bring this young woman in? He said that it's either I allow it to happen or he's gone completely. I would not see him. His daughter would not see him. It would be completely over. All right. I'm going to, I'll let you talk to her. Did she know him before you guys got married? No. Oh, so he just met her in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Were you having problems when he invited her in? Like, were you fighting with him or something? We had our times. Yeah. Any marriage does. Yeah. You've been married for a year. Mm hmm But we've been together two. Two. All right. Here is this other woman, Heather. She needs to sit down, she's pretty ugly. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Well, you know what, Lisa? Why don't you tell him all the truth, okay? That you call him a bastard in front of his daughter, that you uh, threatened to take his daughter away, to break his heart, that you even told him his daughter was not his! Love yeah, to him you now. might be making love to him, but you know what? I bet he's 
thinking of me when he's you. Oh, That must be of significant comfort. <laughs> All right, are you, do you feel a little bit bad? They're married, they have a child. You're moving into their home and you're sleeping with him? She let me move in. She let me move in so her husband would be happy because he's not happy with her fat ass. You know what? This is the Jerry Springer show, but he could not be your sister. I never said anything about him being... Come on! Come on, then! We'll be back. It up and you need to quit destroying his family because you're not gonna get my husband. Bull I, I am completely done. You are gonna go home, you're gonna get your you're gonna go to your own home. I'm gonna have my family back. I'm gonna have my husband back. I mean, isn't it reasonable to say, look, she's married, they have a child, you're in their house, you really don't belong there? You know But he brought me in. She admit, she let me. She's like, well, you know, I can't be with you, so I'm gonna uh, let you be happy with someone that knows well, how to take care of you. Well, she doesn't want you there now. Okay, maybe she did let you in, but she didn't know you'd be sleeping with him. Now she's saying, we want to try to get our family together. If you want to be with him, then he has to leave her. But while you're living in their house, you can't be sleeping. Oh, with he him. will be going home with me. He will not be home with you, okay? He'll still have his daughter. That's no problem. You want to make a bet? I know. Like I said, you want I'm my husband? You can. Kick my ass right now. Oh, let's go. Okay. Very, 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 very. Fight, 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 Fight,
gosh. Welcome back. Oh, no. Meet the husband. Here's Mickey. Back off! That's my husband. Hey. He come to me. You are worthless, bitch. You're a whore. Who's standing there third hanging out, huh? Not me. Are you jealous because I got better back than you? On. boyfriend that's my husband. You know what? He's standing next to me, isn't he? Huh. So he might I, be standing next to you, but he ain't gonna be yours. And uh, he's still in bed with me. We still make love every night. Yeah, so. well, he's thinking of me. Huh. You're nasty ass. I don't think You're so. You're a worthless bitch. There's more to come. We'll be right mother. back. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money. I fight for the little guy. He sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He though. doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. Welcome back. I got to ask you, wait a second. I got, Mickey, I got to ask you a question here. Okay. You married this woman a year ago. Yes. You have a child with her. Yes. I assume when you married her, you loved her. At one time. Okay. What happened? You, you're what bringing happened? A, a mistress into your home with your child there? What happened was, Lisa, you treated me bad for two years. Okay. You've lied to me about our daughter, saying that she wasn't mine. It was somebody else looking at me in my eye. You broke my heart out, Lisa. Okay? I'm tired of it. I'm done with you. I'm through, okay? You've lied to me. You threw me out of my own home. Fourteen dollars. Accuse me. And your own dad stole your money. You accuse me of it. Okay? I'm tired of it. Two years you're just gonna throw down the down the drain for a whore like that? Whore? You wanna call somebody a whore? You know what love you, 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 you No, she don't know what love is, and neither do you. You say about the two years you put that I put you through hell? You lied to me, my wild daughter! What about the two okay? years that you, you put me through hell by cheating on me? I never cheated on and you! And I took your ass back how many times? How many cheated times did I take you back? Who threw who out over fourteen dollars? Huh? Over fourteen lousy dollars! You threw me out. Nowhere to go. Obviously, he found a place. He found you somebody came right back to me. Disney. You came right back to me. Come on, we freaking together. You threw me out because I was 45 minutes late. Threw me out. You know what? Regardless of what she thinks, yeah, I swung at you. <laughs> At least 
Jesus. Another thing is, I'm tired of you putting me down, calling me names. Okay? Look at yourself. Okay? Take a look in the mirror one time. Okay? Look in the mirror. But you're going to throw away two years. I am done with you. Of us being together. We're through. To be with a whore like that. A home wrecking whore at that. Come no. in, take your wife, you tell you, take your husband, take the wife's husband, and then turn around and want her all by yourself. Mickey, if, you got a daughter to think about. You know what? The only thing happened out of this marriage, the best thing was our daughter. That was it. Yeah, but do Why you are you staying her? around, Mickey? Why are you staying around then? Why? I'm a man. Take care of my own child. I ain't like some of these low lives out here. Yeah, but, from the yeah but if you're a man, look, if you're going to break up with your wife, then you break up with your wife. But. I'm through with her. Me and her are done. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no, yes. we're not. <laughs> you want my husband? Yeah, I do. Beat my ass. I think I've done proof of my point. <laughs> Who's he standing with here, huh? Who's he with? Huh? Who's he with? Apparently not you. Give Rocky a kiss. Give Rocky a kiss. Give Rocky a kiss. Give Rocky a kiss. You're a whore. And you're a bitch. And your point is, you're a home wrecking whore. Take your and go home. You're the one that told you know me I can move in. Well, I'm telling you now, take your stuff and get out. I tell you right now, if she leaves, I'm going to. No, you're not. You're going to stay Watch right me. here where you belong. No. Watch we me. have a family together, Mickey. Watch me. That don't mean nothing to you. You're going to throw two years away for three months. Three months don't compare to two years. I made him more she than three even, months. She don't even know you. She knows me well How enough. How could she know you in three months? How? All right, what's it? Do you have any feelings for your no, wife? Sir. Obviously, you got to or you wouldn't be in the same house. Telling me when she's at work that I'm special, that you're proud to have... Your daughter with me? All right, I got to. You going to get on your horse and ride out of town? <laughs> we'll be back. What's up, big dog? My guests today are here to fight for their marriages. Please meet Sam. He says his wife kicked him out of their trailer to move her boyfriend in. Sam, what's going on? Jerry, my life's a living hell. I love my wife so much. She kicks me out. I take her back in the drop of a dime. Is there someone else involved? Yes. Rocky, her ex-boyfriend. Her ex-boyfriend. But she's still seeing him? Yes, she still sees him, Jerry. Why do you put up with it? I love her. When, is she living with you now? Yes, she lives with me, Jerry. How often does she go over and see this other guy? She goes over there every day, Jerry. And it, and <laughs> it, hurt, it hurts me so bad, because I know they're Sam, over there. of course it hurts you so bad, so you should stop the hurt and say, if you ever go there again, don't come back. But she... she knows you're going to permit her to do it, so she continues to do it. I love her, Jerry. She's my soulmate, the one I vowed to spend the rest of my life with. And if it takes... But you're not. She's at the other trailer.
I'm guessing. Yes, she is. Yeah, there you go. I noticed. Uh... So, okay. Uh, now, when she comes back, does she say, oh, I'm sorry? Or she says, I don't care. I like sleeping with him, too. She doesn't say anything, Jerry. It's just like... Are you always nothing. this forceful with her? <laughs> no, but maybe I should be. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I mean, I just met you, but it seems to me if you let her behave like that, she's going to continue to behave like that. And the sad part is... Oh, there are a lot of sad parts to this. <laughs> Go ahead. The sad part is, I love her that much, I'll probably continue to put up with it. Well, then you can guarantee that she's going to continue to do that. She's got no reason to stop because you're not telling her to stop. If this is a painful way, you just got to say, it's not going on anymore. Make her make a choice. She may choose you, but she doesn't have to make a choice. You're letting her sleep with him, too. I'm here today to, make, to ask her to make that choice. You're going to be a man today. Yes, sir. All right. Here is your wife, Tracy. What do you want to say to her? Tracy, you know I love you, right? There's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you. I take care of you. I take care of your son. Sam, I take care of you. I support you. I feed you. I buy you anything you want. And what do you want to do? You want to be a little kid and play games and sleep all day? I'm sick. You know my condition. You know, you know I can't well. work. You know I can't work. But I do work. You come home every night to a clean house. Every night. A clean house isn't a marriage. How many rooms does a trailer have? <laughs> I mean, is it a lot of work? Yeah, it's enough. enough. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot, so he's doing something. He is a good little house bitch. <laughs> okay. okay. He is good in those ways, but you're, other ways, he doesn't satisfy me. It's, you're, you're losing this man bit. I want you to make a choice today. Me or him. If you choose him, I'm gone. And how many times have you said that? I'm gone. This is the last time. If you choose me, I'll always be there for you. No matter what. Thick or thin. <laughs> Here's Rocky. Get you something, big dog. That's my wife. That's my wife. My wife, bitch. That's my wife. Get you some big. That's my wife. You can't chew. Come on. I've loved you for seven years. We have a beautiful boy together, five years old. I'll give you more than this can ever give you. I got you. You know this. I love you with all my heart, Tracy. Why do you guys keep doing this to me? I feel like I'm being torn in the middle. 
You are because you can't choose between them. Give up my family three times over for you. I've given up my relations when I was happy for you. Okay? You come around and I'll drop everything I have. Right there. Like I don't. Right family too, bitch. I got you. So bring it out. I'll lick it. Come on. Come on, bitch. It's right here. Who's, uh, how's it going, Jay? What's, fine, how are you? So yeah. why, what do you what's going to happen now? This is your husband. This is a guy who says he loves you as well. What are you going to do? you got to make a choice. <coughs> they both treat me like <laughs> <laughs> Point at, Both the of past, them. Yes. Neither one of them want to work. Past, I work 60 wrong. hours a week. I take care of both of them, which neither, don't matter which That's... one I'm with. Well, I'll tell you what. It's like this here. You're going to make a choice today, Tracy. Tired of this back and forth. I ain't second best of no piece of Neither you know what I'm am saying? I. That's my son. You tell me you want to make a family with me. Prove it. You want me or you want that? I want an answer today. Tracy, I've given you a family. I've given you one too. <laughs> I'm gonna get you boy. I've given you three years. I'm gonna stand over here. Of marriage. Okay, I gotta Three make years. a decision. We gotta make a decision. Who are you gonna go with? I'm going with Rocky. I'll be back. My name is Byron Brown. I'm the anti-lawyer lawyer. It makes my blood boil when people like this threaten you, take your money, I fight for the little guy. Sent me a screenshot of my address that I sent him to receive the wigs and told me that he'll come to my house if I didn't leave him alone. I'm just so confused by this. I'll judge your situation and I'll tell you straight out if you've got a case. I never said the word sex or suggested anything having to do with sex. Again, the police aren't doing anything wrong. Byron, I don't like the law in this situation. So get ready to soak in 265 pounds of pure justice. That was the, the comment that got me fired. Know that you're the punk. May not be the answer you want. Don't do that. No, she can't. Don't do that. No, no, no. But it will be the judgment you need. Wait, do not tell me that he doesn't have a case. He though. doesn't have a case. Are you serious? Yeah, honestly. Because it's time to get judged by me, Big B. September will knock you out with Jerry Springer uncut and out of control, too, on pay-per-view. It's wild action and uncensored. Check your local cable or satellite listings. Thank you. Welcome back. My guests today have secrets to reveal. Please meet Day Day. She says she's here to steal a boyfriend away from his other girlfriend because she has something the other woman doesn't. What is that? Hey, what's well, going on? I have a penis and I'm really a man. You're, you're really a guy? Yes, I am, Jerry. Damn, I wish you, you told me that last night. <laughs> no, okay, so you're really a guy. And uh, you're telling this woman, how long has this woman been with a guy, with your boy? I guess five years. The bitch been with this man for five years, I don't know. They've been together for something like five years. How long have you been sleeping with him? 11 months. So she has no idea you're sleeping with her boyfriend? Nope. All right, let's bring out, uh, this, is, this is his girlfriend, Latasha. Kick you in your face and stick this right yeah, now. Don't play with me. Run up. Run down. Um, don't get ran over. <laughs> <laughs> girl, we've we been together for five, five years. Five years, girl. You can't take away five years. 
I'm gonna you take cannot take away five years. Yes, you can. can't. No, you yes, can't. Can. We got a baby, girl. A beautiful baby. Can you have a baby? Can you have, a baby? Can you have, have a baby? baby? I have a baby by you when I kick your ass, bitch. How about I'm going to kick your ass Come on, right bitch. now? Come on. I'm going to kick your Come ass on, right bitch. now. Come on. Let me go, Steve. Let me go. Let her go. Let the bitch go. Let me go. Let the bitch go. What? Come on, bitch. Come on. Come on. Let me go, Steve. Let this ugly, big, fat bitch go. Please. Let this let this blubber mouth bitch go. Girl, tuck her mouth. How about rubber maid, bitch? What? Bitch, you got this maid outfit Let's bring him out. Here's Maurice. I think Your everyone here. Forehead, looking like uh, right here. I think I'll everyone here needs a timeout. So go to the ugly corner, please. <laughs> ugly corner. Ugly corner. Ugly corner. You construction oh, worker. So you gonna so 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 go do that, Maurice? So you gonna do that, Maurice? Tasha, you know I love you. Boy, please. If you love me, Maurice, why you why you doing up him? Why are you him? Well, why are you coming to come over your house, Tasha? You always got you always got to go in a room and hide like you 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 be cheating on me, Tasha. You Maurice, know you do. Maurice, whatever, Maurice. I've been at with you through thick and thin. Girl, We've been lying. together for five years. When you was in that car accident, bitch, I was there with you, with you, Maurice, not her or it, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, but bitch, I be it with the ugly ass face. How about, about coming it, girl? You how about you, bitch? Oh. How about right, when is that bitch? I smack right. your face. No, you won't. No, you won't. Pills very dumb, bitch. Look at this. Young and dumb. Come on, you fat bitch. Come on, come on. Tasha. Come on, bitch. Not Tasha. Don't call me. Don't call that call him. Tyrone looking bitch. Girl, you is Tyrone. Oh, Tyrone. Don't you call Tyrone, bitch. Tyrone. No, how about Rice and Rona, you fat bitch? How about uh, turkey Rick face Tony. bitch? Between your legs. No. Look between your legs, <laughs> bitch. What do you want to say to you? You say you love her. Right. Then why are you messing around with a guy? Because Tasha, every time I come over, Tasha, I always act like I'm not there. She don't treat me like every time I come over there, she run in a room and hide, talking to other dudes on the phone, saying it's her cousin. But if your cousin, why do you have to go in the other room and hide? You know what I mean? Why you be out until like 8 o'clock in the morning every Friday and Saturday? Tasha, I don't even live with you. It don't matter. When I call you, you ain't ever there. You never there, Maurice. Am I? Bitch. At the Get barn. your own house. At the barn. Yard, fat bitch. You right, fat piggy. Miss Piggy. Oh, do you, you want to be with you him? You look like yeah. a cow in that suit. Okay. Uh, uh, he, he's a baby cow. All right, a baby stop. cow. Stop. He, he's saying he wants to be with you. You willing to take him back? Uh, no. Oh. Ah! We'll be back. This is for Cowboy Bill right there. I can't believe you're with this woman. The way you look and the way you sound, you're like Miss Piggy on steroids <laughs> gone awry. Hey, come on, bitch. Come on. You stay back. You stay back. Don't you hit him. I don't, don't think so, boy. Don't you hit him. He's, he's scared of you. <laughs> yeah, this
this is for the Southern illiterate cowboy up there. Uh, <laughs> you need to wash your stinks up because they're killing everybody on stage. Again. Said you need to wash your skanks up there, killing everybody up there. <laughs> no, shut up, man. Huh? you fair. Come on in. Come on. Come up here. Huh? And the girl it. This is for the trailer park trash Rocky right there. Wasn't you the guy that jumped the face at Comiskey Park? Oh. Ah. Trailer park trash, redneck. That's the trailer park. Oh, boy. <laughs> Free ride. Uh, this is for the red haired lady in the blue. Uh, maybe if you put some of that Twinkie money into a treadmill, your husband oh. will be cheating on you. And you know what? You should share it with her, too, because she's headed there. You know what? Oh. You're a Thank you very much. You're very welcome. This is for Rocky and Bullwinkle. You guys are just going to let your blimp fly away. This is for the uh, Pillsbury Doughboy and the Stay Puff Marshmallow with the Cowboy. Um, I was just wondering if uh, Barnum and Bailey is still taking applications. Well, just sit down, you skinny little punk. <laughs> I'm sorry I ain't as big as your women. You couldn't handle these women, boy. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this one's for Big Red, the Blueberry, Tex, and the Snaggletooth. The only one with some the obvious brains is the one on the end, even though it's a house bitch. And y'all want Rocky, it's time to get the rid of the old school haircut. So why don't you come cut it for me? This is for Twinkle Toes. You called me a construction worker, but I'm a plumber. Ask your wife. She likes the way I lay my pipe. <laughs> Why why you lay your pipe? Next question, next question. Just for Cowboy Put Bill there, hey, when you're done with Tell the pig you. farm, where are you going next? Your house? <laughs> right, who's at house? Oh. Hey, this is for the, for, for the girl at the end. If I was you, I'd just keep both of them losers. You paying to take care of both of them anyway. <laughs> Might as well go in and get them too. Just keep both of them. Yeah, Jerry, this is for the uh, full-figured gal in the front row in the red hair. I just want to know... Was that your belly button or a blowhole? <laughs> I'll be back for the final thought. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being in. I hope you can work your situations out. Good luck to you. You know, under the best circumstances, marriage can be tough. So the general rule, practiced more in its inception than its discipline, is to enter into marriage as if you were serious about the vows, as if you really assumed you would be tied to this person for better or for worse till death did you part. That this was not just a long date, but a life commitment, no way out. I think if people really thought that marriage was forever, with no exceptions, they'd enter into the bond with a lot more caution, and only when they were really sure. Well, we saw little evidence today of people willing to be responsible for themselves, much less for each other. Nobody seemed willing to be a responsible partner, and consequently, it's hard to see how these relationships at this point have any chance for survival. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs> Hey, you 
a you real gagger, huh? Hey, what, man? Tough show. Tough it's show. tough? Yep, tough show. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. It looked like you were having a rough time out there. I think it was just a bad sandwich. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy! Oh! oh. Oh, you know you want me? Oh.